Heading over on this beautiful day with Pastor Susie. Going to turn on the lights here quickly over at the church, get things up and running. Getting ready this Wednesday morning. Look at that. For Wednesday morning word at 9.30. So if you are interested, you got a little bit of time. If you want to come on over at 9.30, right there. It's right back there. See Fellowship Hall. That's where Fellowship Hall is. We'll be sitting in there, probably taking a look at Hebrews. You know, I'm at a place this week where I'm kind of in between inspirations. That happened sometimes. I was actually talking. Hey, Bill. I was actually talking about that with my friend Jeremy yesterday on the radio. He's a young man inspired by the Holy Spirit and uh, loves to read and study and be intensely in the Word. And he was thinking about, you know, there are times when I don't feel this way. Is that okay? And I'm like, well, yes. You know, I said, he likes to exercise. I like to exercise. So I used that analogy. And I said, when you exercise, do you exercise high intensity training? Uh, oh, Bill, yes, thank you. Valentine's Day, the first day of Lent. We're entering the Lenten season. We will, uh, the season of fasting, the season of thinking, of giving. Just checking the doors here. I want to make sure the doors are secured. Susie, what you doing, girl? Yeah, I'm feeling a little slow today. There's no doubt about that. I'll tell you what's going on. Maybe you guys can help me. Yesterday... And we'll talk more about the spirituality here. Oh, my. Yesterday, my right foot started hurting so badly. So badly. Out of the blue, I was like, what in the world is going on? <clears throat> the pain is extraordinary. So I'll have to check that out. Good morning, sir. Do you know what's going on? Could you please tell me? Up to you, of course. Your will, not mine. <laughs> But uh, me and my cadre of doctors will figure it out. <clears throat> my old guy doctors. Anyway. Now I'm sitting down. Now I feel better. But yeah, I mean, uh, just feeling a little bit sluggish this morning. I'm looking forward to being around the church today. Um, that's going to be nice. Yesterday, I spent the whole day you know, a half an hour behind my calendar. It was just, the day was a blur from the time that we checked off here to the time I went to bed after I got back from Scotland. And it was just, I felt like I was catching up the entire day. And that's why, another reason why just, I'm not inspired yet uh, in terms of, of this weekend. I haven't done any reading uh, the past couple of days. I've kind of disconnected after Sunday, which happens. It's part of a, the cycle. It's part of the way it goes. Um, and I've learned, <clears throat> at first I felt like my friend Jeremy did. Um, hey, what's going on here? This can't happen. Yeah, it can. It's fine. Uh, the Lord knows my disposition. The Lord knows what's ahead. The Lord knows how I'm feeling, you know. Hey, Nancy. Um, all of those things. At any rate, I said, Jeremy, I said, do you, when you exercise, do you exercise High intensity training every single time, and you just never. St no, you don't. You can't exist at that pace. You'll do more harm than good. Um, and living on that mountaintop of spirituality, I mean, there are times and there are seasons when you can't, absolutely can't get enough, and, and you are just inspired and you're in the Word, and the Lord is leading you here and there and everywhere. Um, I think, especially when you are. <clears throat> in a vocational position where that is a steady constant, he helps you if you will allow him. Pastor friends, correct me if I'm wrong. He helps you if you will allow him to regulate that so that you're not spiritually expended all the time um, and that you notice other things in life. What? Yeah, it doesn't mean you take your eyes off God. It doesn't mean that you forsake your relationship. <clears throat> it means that you're noticing other things, and, and that's okay. 
and that's where he wants you. And um, that's, so I try to take the time to notice what's going on around. So that's where I am today, other than this voice of mine, <clears throat> which I apologize for. My goodness, I try to uh, sort of talk and get a little bit warmed up every day before we do this. But we had a good series of recordings yesterday, and I feel really good about that. I didn't feel hurried. I felt like Jeremy and I were resting in the word um, during those recordings. So I hope that you're enjoying those. They will be up and archived on the website, 91.3.org, 91.3fm.org, and you can find those recordings. And let me know what you think. Um, you guys that check in here regularly will notice, you know, the same format, although I'm actually speaking to another person live. And I'm learning a lot about radio, like radio intros. I did, for example, it, we recorded for next Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I did the intro on Monday and Friday. And Monday's wasn't too bad, but Friday's, I mean, it's difficult. You wouldn't think, but doing, doing radio, um, trading places verbally, moving back and forth, handing things off back and forth, all of the eye contact, all of the hand signals, um, all of the preparation it takes to enter into a program a defined program, and then hand it off to your partner. I'm still learning. I, Friday's was awful. I just... <laughs> Jeremy, help. So I'm learning a whole, you know, a whole new thing. So <clears throat> should be good. But that's it. What do you guys have today? We've been talking about some pretty heady things on here. There's no doubt about that. And I'm, go I'm glad. I think those are the questions that need to be asked and answered as we move through things together here. I'm still stuck in Hebrew. Well, okay. So maybe that's my answer for this week. I'm still stuck in Hebrews. Um, and I also had a conversation yesterday about spiritual warfare and uh, the understanding thereof. You know, I've seen it. I've seen it and experienced it in my own life. And there is not an individual whom I have been associated with, who has turned around and made their life about Christ and submitted to his will, who has not then come under attack. There is not an individual in my years who has professed their love of Jesus Christ and prayed and asked for salvation and has gone on to be baptized, has gone on in vocational ministry, have professed their desire for vocational ministry, who has not come under severe attack. We must understand that. We must understand that. And I just want, again, to affirm <clears throat> in your life, if that is you or if you have experienced that, to stay the course. Put your spiritual blinders on. And all of the temptations that are coming your way, all of the titillations that are coming your way, now that you're a follower of Christ, you're like, how can this be? It's not because Satan likes you or loves you. It's because he hates God and he hates your decision. So stay the course, stay facing against that current, um, stay submitted, Say, well, why doesn't the Lord just pluck me out of that current? You can't be a robot and love God. You must rise and make that decision every single day. I love you because I love you. You get to that point and you profess your love every day, regardless of circumstance. You'll understand what I mean. When I counsel young couples, <clears throat> I say, I understand that I understand the, uh, the infatuation. I understand the blossoming of love. I understand the blossoming of lust. I said, but when you are with somebody, when you stand at that altar, you're making a commitment to love you simply because I've chosen you as my husband. I've chosen you. And I believe that you were chosen for me as my wife. And there's going to be a lot of times when that 
If that's not good enough, I love you because I have made a decision to. You're going to come on rocky times. Hi, Mary. Liz, my Spartans won the first round of the mid-pen playoffs last night. What sport is that? I don't know. Is that basketball or wrestling? Aren't both of them going on? <clears throat> so I don't know. And I apologize for that. I don't know. I'm not... Uh, I don't pay much attention to it. Um, not to be, to be rude, but I just I don't know what's going on. I don't know how good teams are um, and what teams are good in what sport. Um, that's it. I know. Pretty awful, huh? It's pretty awful. So that's that, folks. Basketball. Good, Liz. I'm sure it's because they are so well taken care of. I'll bet you any money that it is. Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. For through him, God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made the things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else. And he holds all creation together. Christ is also the head of the church, which is his body. He is the beginning, supreme over all who rise from the dead. So he is the first in everything. For God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ. <clears throat> and though, through him, God reconciled everything to himself. We understand that the unseen world is a thing. And that good and evil is a thing. Scripture teaches us that the things that we fight against are not of this world, but of the unseen world. The God of this world. So keep yourself, keep your eyes, keep your disposition, keep your thinking, keep your heart, your emotions where they belong. Wow. Interesting. Your boys team, Liz. <laughs> no, they are. I know what you're saying. And uh, I understand that closeness that you feel. That is what I miss and what I'm going to miss. Because I, you know, I don't know if I shared this with you, Liz, but I have resigned uh, from coaching. I just couldn't do it uh, physically, time-wise, vocationally. I loved it. I loved every minute of it, but it's just impossible. I couldn't. I found myself so divided. Um, I know they are, Liz, and I know I know your heart, and I know how you feel, and I'm teasing you. Um, so, yeah, that's... But I, like I said, I found myself either at church, you know, Wednesday morning word, working on practice that afternoon, because it was an offensive practice. Or I found myself unable to go to practice. Or having to leave early or coming late. Or worrying over things. Taking phone calls while I'm, you know. It just, the two worlds did not mesh well together. Um, I am a teacher by, you know, heart. Um, that is my skill. And I'm a coach. I'm a good coach. But I just couldn't do it. Hey, Kayla. So that, it. I won't say, I mean, there are mixed feelings because, again, I, I, I enjoy it more than you can imagine. Um, but it just, it just couldn't happen. So Anyway, that's where I am today, everybody. I know I'm boring today, and that's okay. You're allowed to have boring days, I think. I'm, uh, we're heading over for Wednesday Morning Word. So, again, if you are not doing anything at 930, we're going to... Come over, going to explore some scriptures and see where we're led. Good morning. <laughs> it is so neat. Oh, just I, I, Kayla is an individual that I knew the last time I checked in with her before we became Facebook friends. She was a kid. <laughs> so I'm up there now. And now she is just an awesome, awesome 
person doing all kinds of different things, and it just, it's amazing to watch. So uh, I enjoy that very much. I meet people. Um, and, and social media is really great in that respect. You get to see people and meet people and catch up with people. And, and some of them, uh, being young people in my past, either it's previous students of mine, you know, and now they're introducing me to their children, probably soon grandchildren, that'll be okay. But uh, it's neat watching and being a small part of people growing and becoming. I mean, it's really cool. It's really cool. So, anywho, that's all I got, kids. So, got some meetings today. I'll probably be over here cleaning the church. Valentine's Day, first day of Lent. So you guys uh, enjoy. Father God, thank you for the time that we get together to check in. Thank you so much for who you are, the gifts that you give. We love you and we appreciate you. And we pray for that inspiration daily, Lord. Help us to turn our eyes upon you and understand the commitment that we've made. In Jesus' name, amen. So, on behalf of Pastor Susie, who's here with me, on my lap, just chilling, I would like to say, have a great Wednesday, happy Valentine's Day, happy first day of Lent, it's a beautiful day, um, have fun.